Want to find out how you could farm exotics? Yes, you guys heard it correctly. Get unlimited exotics plus unlimited exotic components to upgrade your exotics. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that. As of uh, this is Laserbolt, in today's video, this has been one of the videos that most people have been asking me for to do, and that is how to farm exotics. How to guarantee that you're actually going to get an exotic, because I can sit here and tell you guys, go do this mission and farm until a weapon drops, and keep farming it over and over and wait for that exotic. I could do that, but I'm actually going to give you a tip and a helpful tip where I can guarantee that you will get an exotic that day if you guys do this method. And you will get exotic components every single day. You could even get multiple exotic components, multiple exotics within one day span. Yes, guys, you guys heard it correctly. So what exactly do you need to do to do this farm method? So if all of this sounds like something you guys are definitely want to know how to do, I want to ask you guys for a huge favor. Drop a like on this video because that does help me out a lot. But let's talk about how you'll be able to farm these exotics. Well, first and foremost, what you need to do, of course, is get one exotic at least. You're probably going to want to get the shatter box, which is the easiest weapon to get. As far as no RNG is concerned, all you have to do is just, you know, get the weapon parts. Now, on top of that, what you will need to do is need to create a second character. The only reason we need to create a second character is because once you get an exotic on your first primary character, and if you keep that exotic either in your stash or if you keep it in your inventory, you won't be able to get that exotic again because technically you already have the exotic, so you, you won't be getting another one. Now, the only way to kind of trick the system into telling it, you know what, I don't have an exotic, so give me another exotic, is to transfer that exotic that you have on your main character and transfer it over to your second character. If you don't know how that works, it's super easy to do, guys. All you got to do is, once again, create a brand new character. Once you create a new character, make sure he gets to the White House and has access to the stash. Once you get him all the way over there to the uh, White House, log into your main character, put your exotic weapons in the vault or in the stash, and then go to your secondary character, which is the one that's probably like level one, and grab those exotic weapons and just have him hold them. Even though he won't be able to equip them, just get, make your character hold them and that's about it. So then you're going to be logging back into your main character and you should have everything except exotics. Everything should be normal and simple as this, everything was before. The only thing that you're missing is exotics. Now the only exotic you technically have to transfer is the Shatterbox. Because this is the one that we will be farming due to the fact that this doesn't require any RNG drop. This just requires you to get weapon parts to be able to build that weapon. So what we're really doing is the following. I'm going to show you guys a super duper easy way to actually get the weapon parts for the Shatterbox. Now, as you guys recall, when the Shatterbox first dropped, we said, you know, you have to go do this mission, open this hyena key, you have to do that mission, open that hyena key, and so on and so on. Well, as the, the time has progressed, we found that the only way to actually get these parts is if you open up hyena keys. You really don't have to do any missions. All you have to do is farm hyena keys. Now... Of course, you are going to need hyena keys to open up the hyena boxes. So if you want to know exactly how to farm hyena keys and what is the fastest and most effective way to actually do so, I have a video on how to farm hyena keys. I'll leave the link down below in the description. Now, once you have enough hyena keys, you're probably going to want to have max at least 20 or 10, just because if you're going to be doing this over and over, you want to have as many as you possibly can. At least have five, because not, not every box is guaranteed for you to give you a piece. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do this route that I'm showing you guys in the video. This route is going to be the easiest route that you could possibly do to get hyena keys. The reason why it's there, it's the easiest route is because all the hyena keys are kind of in one vicinity. So all you have to do is go around the map and go to hyena box number one. Loot that one, see if you get the weapon part. If you don't get it on that one, go to the second one. Loot that one, see if you get the weapon part and so on and so on. There's a total of five hyena keys in this location. If for some reason you get two parts out of these boxes that you open, if you guys are lucky like me, usually you'll tend to get all three of them in just five runs. But if you are missing one or you're missing two, you guys could easily just do you know the, the mission, the hotel mission, and there is a hyena key, and that will probably give you the last part that you possibly need in order to get the component. Once you guys get the component, it's all a matter of going back to the White House, crafting the uh, Shatterbox once again, and there you have it, you have another exotic. Remember, you already have a Shatterbox in your secondary character, only this time, 
in your primary character, you'll have the kind of, you know, the shatter box. Now, what you do with this one, it's all up to you if you guys want to upgrade it or if you don't want to upgrade it. But what you, the best thing to do is definitely dismantle it and boom, bada bing, you're going to have two exotic components. Once you've gone and dismantled the shatter box, you no longer have an exotic. So you could technically go ahead and do this all over again and get yourself another exotic shatter box. And pretty easy. Same thing goes again. Dismantle that one. You will then get two more shatter, ex, you know, exotic components. Super easy farm, guys. It's going to give you the most exotic components you could possibly get. And probably is going to be a very effective time to actually be grinding these. Because as we get to World Tier 5, you're going to want to make sure you have all your exotic weapons upgraded. And it makes your life that much easier. This kind of guarantees that you'll always have an exotic. It guarantees that you'll always have exotic components for later on as the game progresses. And there you guys have it. That is how you form exotics and exotic components in The Division 2. If you did find this video helpful and informative, do me that huge favor, guys. Drop a like, share this video with your friends because that does help me out a lot. Also, a friendly reminder, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do so you guys can stay up to date to when we upload Division 2 videos. Don't forget, guys, if you have any additional questions or comments regarding this video, leave them in the comments section down below. Also, on top of that, if you have anything to ask me in regards to my personal life or anything that has to do with the channel, hit me up on any of my social medias. The links are down below in the description. Just hit me up there. If you ever want to have some positive vibes, just want to have fun, maybe chit chat for a little bit, just watch awesome gameplay. Definitely consider us checking us over on, on Twitch. We stream very frequently, so hit us up with that follow so you guys can know exactly when we go live. Once again, guys, thank you guys for tuning in today. And don't forget, W-G-A-T-A-P, and I will catch you guys on the next video.